Hey Frederick! Yeah? What do you see around you? Um, I see a lot of plants. Do you see angiosperms? Uh, what exactly is that? Angiosperms, mm -hmm. literally speaking, it means seeds with casing. Mm -hmm. The thing that covers the seeds are flowers. So, angiosperms are a group of flowering plants. Are you kidding me? I'm not seeing any flower around. I bet you are wrong this time. Well, it's right. I didn't see the flowers too. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you a story. Okay, just go ahead. Long, long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived the four royal clades, the bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. They live happily ever after. The end. Duh, that was the worst story I had ever heard. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not good at making stories. But what I'm trying to say is, the plant kingdom mm -hmm. is differentiated to four different groups. Mm -hmm. The first group is bryophytes. A group of mosses. Yeah, okay. The other group is pteridophytes, mm -hmm. a group of ferns. Mm. Gymnosperm is a group consists of conifers mm -hmm. and cycads. Mm -hmm. While the angiosperm is the group of flowering plants. Oh, now I know what you are trying to say. So, tell me more about the flowering plants. What makes them different from others? Oh. First of all, mm -hmm. they have vascular tissue. Mm. Secondly, they produce seeds instead of spores. Mm. The seeds are covered inside the flower organ. Oh, it's true that these plants are mostly like to be flowering plants. But again, I didn't see any flower. Well, flowers don't bloom at the same time. Mm -hmm. They come at different flowering periods. Oh yeah, you are right. Plants don't bloom every day. But if all plants bloom at the same time, it must be beautiful! Tell me more about angiosperm. Well, have you heard about the terms monocot and dicot before? Oh yes, I do. The plant you see here mm -hmm. is a dicot plant. Mm -hmm. And this over here is a monocot plant. Mm -hmm. Monocotyledon and dicotyledon are the major classification for angiosperm. Mm. They consist nearly of 97% of all the flowering plants. Oh, so... You mean that if I can identify a plant as monocot or dicot, then I can identify it as flowering plant as well? Yeah, most of the time, yes. So, how does this plant look like? First of all, cotyledon means embryonic leaves to appear first from germinating seeds. Monocots have one cotyledon leaf, while dicot have two cotyledon leaves. But most of the time, we see the adult plant instead of cotyledon stage. The direct observation we can get from most of the adult plants are the leaves. Monocot has parallel veins. Dicot has net-like veins most of the time. For the flowers, monocot flowers are floral parts in multiple of three. Dicotyledon has a multiple floral parts of four or five. Uh, distinguishing monocots and dicots by their roots are a less easier way, but to most of the times, monocots have fibrous root system. Dicots have tap root system present in it. The vascular bundle of monocots have complex vascular tissue arranged in it, while dicots have ring arrangement of vascular tissues. So, Frederick. Yes? Do you find plants interesting now? Yeah, I do. Therefore, let us start observe the plants around us from now on. Yeah, okay.